This next scenario is going to seem very familiar to many of you. It's dinner time, you're trying to get your teenager to the table before the meal that you just spent the last hour and a half preparing gets cold, but they're ignoring you. They're in their room, talking on the phone, surfing the internet, music is blaring. Of course, all of this is now part of your home network system. So here's how eSpaces solves the problem. With Kid Call. When you push this button, it flashes the lights in their room, a signal that lets them know they have just 30 seconds before the home network system in their room begins shutting down. That means no music, no phone, no TV, no computer, no lights. And if our experience means anything, you'll never see your teenager move any faster. Frank, I got a great tip for you. Manufacturers of eLife Spaces. Yeah, I hadn't heard of them either until last week, but in a few months, these are going to be the hottest stocks in the market. Sure, okay. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hey, come on in. I'm just finishing up some work here in the study. There's a touch screen in here similar to the other ones you've already seen. So you can listen to music, watch TV, even keep an eye on what's going on around the house. And since it's all coming through the home network, there's no amplifiers, VCRs, or big TVs taking up shelf space. This keypad here on the wall controls the lighting, including the desk lamp and a very unusual overhead light. Two basic fluorescent tubes and a not-so-basic fixture. And how about this lighting? This is the ceiling in the home theater. There are over 300 fiber optic lights up there, creating one of the more dramatic effects in the house. As you can see, the home theater isn't as large as you might expect, but it really doesn't have to be, thanks to a wide-angle lens in the video projector that's almost hidden in the back wall. When you begin playing your DVD or tape, several other things automatically happen in the room. The curtains will close if they're still open, the general room lighting will fade down, movie theater style floor lights will come on, and a 7.1 surround sound system is powered up. If you really want to impress someone, this room will do it. Some people may get easily excited about large pictures and loud sounds, but this is my favorite eLife Spaces room. Except for the plasma video screen, it probably looks like your average master bedroom, but there are some really amazing things that happen in here, none of which involve Greg. Hey, there are still some things technology can't do. Okay, moving right along. You'll notice, or actually you won't notice, the speakers in the room. Like the kitchen, they're hidden in the wall. If you come around here, a section of the wall's been cut out so you can see what they look like when they've been installed. They're mounted between the 2x4 studs from side to side and between the front and back wall coverings, and the quality of the sound is not affected in any way. There's another touch screen here on the nightstand, which, like the others, allows you to control the window treatments, the lights, the sound, and the video in the room. This one has actually been programmed to wake you up in the morning by fading up the lights ever so slightly and playing a soft music selection at a low volume. A few minutes later, it brings up the lights a little more, opens the curtains a bit, and raises the music volume. And a few minutes after that, it brings the lights up full, opens the curtains all the way, and changes the music to something more up-tempo. With something like this, you can't help but wake up in a good mood. This is a smaller version of the plasma screen in the great room, and it's hung directly on the wall. One of the obvious features of the plasma screen is that it's thin and flat. But unlike the LCD flat screens, it doesn't lose any brightness as you move from side to side. So from almost anywhere in the room, you're going to get a great picture. It can handle and even exceed high definition video from your DVD player and from network TV. And with the push of a button, it can become your computer monitor. You can even split the screen so you can be watching TV and checking your email at the same time, or keep an eye on the baby while you're watching a movie. And since you can do all this from your wireless keyboard and your bedside touchscreen, you may finally have a legitimate reason for not getting out of bed. Another device you'll find not only in this room, but throughout the house, is the motion sensor. Normally used for security purposes, the motion sensor can be programmed to light a pathway to the bathroom at night when it detects you've gotten out of bed. Or if you have different needs, it can detect your direction and light a path to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I bet it would even turn on the lights for you in the garage if you wanted to get up at, say, oh, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning to check on your new Harley Davidson motorcycle. Oh, I only did that three or four times, and I'm completely over it now, so mm -hmm. let's just move on. Mm -hmm. This bathroom has its touchscreen mounted in the wall, and it operates just like the others in the house. But there is one new feature here. Just keep your eye on the mirror. This is actually a two-way mirror with the video screen mounted in the wall behind it. 
So you can watch cartoons while you shave. Mm -hmm. Or Oprah while you're putting on your makeup. The only problem is that your significant other might spend more time in the bathroom than she already does. I thought we were only talking about the positive aspects of an Eli's house. We are, but there are times when it must be tempered with the truth. Coming up next, we'll tell you what this is and what it's doing in the baby's room.